All right, today we're gonna to take a look at two neighborhoods in North Portland that often get overlooked, Arbor Lodge and Overlook. Yes, Overlook can get overlooked. Uh, these are two great neighborhoods with a lot to offer. We're gonna check them out in this video. Stay tuned to learn more. Hey, what's up everybody? This is Paul Clem with the Home Team Brokers coming to you from North Portland today. So as you know, Portland is laid out in four primary quadrants, Northwest, Southwest, Southeast, and Northeast. You also have South Portland. And today we're here in North Portland. So North Portland has uh, a few very distinct neighborhoods uh, primarily, uh, North Portland is associated with St. John's, right? So this downtown St. John's area, the big St. John's Bridge, also University Park, like where University of Portland is. These are areas that are really going to be what a lot of people think of when they hear North Portland. But there's some other neighborhoods too. And in this video, we're going to talk about Overlook and Arbor Lodge. So these are two neighborhoods in North Portland that share a border. They really kind of bleed into each other and they're really very similar as far as the type and style of homes, the age of homes, and just what you're going to get overall. Oh, and by the way, if you haven't already and you want to get more videos like this, make sure to subscribe to the channel and tap that little bell to get notified every time we drop a new video. Now Arbor Lodge and Overlook are areas that do tend to get overlooked because they don't really have uh, kind of a main entertainment district or commercial district that is you know, right at the heart of everything. Now, there are a lot of great restaurants, there's great bars and coffee shops in this area, primarily going to be found on Killingsworth. So Killingsworth is on that north side of Overlook and on the south side of Arbor Lodge. And uh, up and down Killingsworth, you know, you're going to get quite a few bars and restaurants, coffee shops, uh, but not a ton, not like areas that are nearby, like Mississippi, for example. Mississippi, one of the more popular areas uh, to, to go out uh, and, and do stuff in Portland. Uh, definitely a tourist area. A lot of people, if they're visiting Portland, they're gonna check out Mississippi. Now, one of the great things about being in Overlook and Arbor Lodge is that you can get to Mississippi very easily. You can also get to Alberta uh, very easily. So Alberta runs right through these areas as well, uh, but what I think a lot of people would think of, uh, you, you know, when they think of Alberta and this entertainment district, you gotta go about 20 blocks east probably before you really start getting into that. So, uh, I mean, you could walk there, it might take you 30 minutes, uh, but either way, it's going to be a really quick drive, Uber, bus ride, whatever it may be. So there are a lot of great little entertainment districts and areas uh, around arbor lodge and overlook st john's too like i mentioned so a lot of areas where a lot, a lot of people like to get out and hang out are really there at your doorstep but overlook and arbor lodge are going to be really residential there's some main thoroughfares going going through this area Greeley, uh Greeley is also where the adidas headquarters is their north american headquarters uh, you have interstate running north and south. You also have Rosa Parks and you have Lombard and again, you have Killingsworth. So you have these main roads going east, west, north, south through this area, but in between, you know, these, these major through roads, uh, it, again, it's just gonna be all residential. And you get a very consistent feel throughout this area. Like I mentioned, you know, Overlook and Arbor Lodge are going to be really similar as far as what you can get and what you're going to see driving around. This is a really flat area. Um, so, you know, the streets run north, south, east, west, and you have these big elongated blocks with are just, you know, which are just kind of lined with homes. Now there are some apartment buildings that have gone up in particular in recent years, some smaller little apartment complexes as well. You're typically going to find those on more of those major roads. And as far as what you get with homes, 
this is an area with uh, the average year built for homes is 1943. So you're gonna get homes that are a lot older than 1943, a lot of stuff built in the 40s and 50s and 60s, and not a ton built after the 60s and 70s. So definitely has an old Portland feel. Uh, so many of the typical Portland bungalows, little craftsman bungalows or uh, the Cape Cod bungalows. Um, uh, you can get some larger homes too. I think you really do get a lot of variety in this area as far as the homes go overall. Being an area that has homes that are a lot older, you get a lot of variety too with kind of the condition of the homes as well. So, you know, homes that are 80 years old, 100 years old, you know, even 50 years old, there's gonna be a lot more opportunity for deferred maintenance. Uh, so you, just driving around Overlook and Arbor Lodge, you can see, you know, there's homes that have been really well cared for, really well maintained. You know, they've had some updates. Uh, you know, you, you can look at the landscaping, see that kind of everything is, uh, you know, being uh, kept up. Uh, and then, you, you know, you can see homes that uh, maybe need a little bit of work, you know, to varying degrees, maybe a lot of work, a little bit of work, whatever it may be. Um, similar to landscaping, I mean, again, it's like, it's really kind of house by house in this area, um, as far as, you know, maybe one, property has a, a lot that is a little bit overgrown um, and, and the one next to it you know the yard everything is immaculate um, so again you do get a lot of diversity here overall uh, it's it's a really good mix it's a really uh, it's an area that has kind of a really true Portland feel as far as the age the architecture of homes um, and just what it offers overall. And by the way, we've helped so many people relocate to Oregon and move to the Portland metro area. And as real estate professionals, we love to help with that process. So if that's you, give us a call, send us a text, shoot us an email, click the link down below in the description of the video, schedule a Zoom call with us. Either way, we would love to help with your move to Portland. Now, if you're living in North Portland or Northeast Portland, Overlook and Arbor Lodge is gonna be one of the most convenient areas to live because you have access to so many of these main thoroughfares, but also I-5 is running right there too, kind of on the east side of this area. And then Interstate Avenue is running north-south, really alongside uh, I-5 as well. And along Interstate, you have the MAX line there too. So you can get on the MAX and take it, you know, anywhere in Portland that you would wanna go very quickly, very easily. Obviously all the bus routes are gonna be going through here as well. Uh, but the access to I-5, I mean, you, and, and you're really only a couple miles north of downtown Portland as the crow flies. So getting into Portland, getting into downtown Portland, really pretty easy. You can get on the 405 bridge pretty quickly as well. That'll take you into downtown, but that can also take you to Highway 26 to get further out to the west side, to get out to areas like Beaverton, for example. So you are in an area that is really pretty convenient for access uh, to areas that you would want to get to both in your immediate area again with like areas like St. John's and Mississippi and Alberta even like North Williams the Moda Center if you want to go to a blazer game I mean you could practically walk there uh, but also again access to freeways and main streets main roads as good as any in this area and if you look on a map, the footprint of these two neighborhoods, Overlook, Arbor Lodge, it's a pretty big area overall. Again, you're gonna get a ton of consistency. That's really why we're talking about both of these in one. There's a lot of neighborhoods in Portland where it makes sense to talk about two in one or three in one, even four in one video because they all kind of bleed and blend into each other and you get more similarities you know, than differences overall.
But again, if you look at the footprint of this whole area, it's a pretty big area and there's about 15,000 people that live between Overlook and Arbor Lodge. So again, it's a, it's a big area, very residential, very typical, very standard kind of uh, urban residential Portland neighborhood, like a lot of what you get on the east side of the river from the furthest south and southeast, all the way you know in northeast and, and over on the peninsula into North Portland. And so this is kind of on that southern section of the peninsula, uh, getting up into North Portland but a little bit closer into even Southeast, Northeast and, and downtown Portland and Northwest Portland too. Again, go over 405, you get into like areas like Northwest 23rd, the Pearl District. So a lot of areas, very quick and easy access from here. Now there are some great parks in this area too. It, for the size of the area, it probably lacks a little bit in the quantity of parks. You look at a lot of other neighborhoods and areas around Portland where you have just maybe a few more parks um, that you have access to in your immediate area, but the parks here are great. So right now I'm sitting at Overlook Park. Overlook Park is kind of the furthest south of Overlook um, and you know as far south as you get in this overall area that we're talking about. Uh, right across the street from the Kaiser Hospital, you know just right up the road from uh, the Moda Center where the Blazers play and the Lloyd District and, and downtown. So uh, Overlook Park, popular place to come hang out. You also have the Skidmore Bluffs which I believe is called Mock Park uh, but people just people call it the Skidmore Bluffs. It's a really small little sliver up on the you know right at the edge of the bluff where you know you have to drive into a neighborhood and park. Uh, but it's a patch of grass basically where you have you know no tree line there blocking your view of the river and of the West Hills. And what you're looking at directly there from uh, the Skidmore Bluffs is mostly Forest Park. So you have some of the kind of the Northwest neighborhoods uh, up above Northwest 23rd and then you have Forest Park. So the, you know these are the West Hills directly across the river there. You also have Arbor Lodge Park which is probably the biggest park in this area. It's right in the middle of Arbor Lodge. Uh, it's probably three, four square blocks, something like that. It's a huge park with tennis courts, pickleball courts, uh, softball, you know, uh, baseball fields, uh, great playground. You know, it's, it's, it's a good spot if you are living in Arbor Lodge to be able to walk to, do a picnic, go for a jog, take your dog, you know, all the, all the stuff that people would do. Uh, Arbor Lodge is a really great park for all of that. So Overlook, Arbor Lodge, there's not really a good reason why these areas fly under the radar too much. A lot of the areas that people moving to Portland, in particular from out of state, would kind of gravitate toward or hear about first are areas where you have this entertainment district, you know, right in the middle of a neighborhood. A lot of like what you get in Southeast Portland with Division and Hawthorne and Stark and Belmont, uh, but even in Northeast Portland, like Alberta, for example, in North Portland, where these neighborhoods are, but you know St. John's probably is an area that people hear about and start looking at first but uh, Overlook, Arbor Lodge, you can get to all these areas, uh, all these really popular areas to hang out in Portland very easily. Uh, Arbor Lodge, Overlook have really great restaurants and bars and places to hang out right there on your doorstep. A little more neighborhood feel too so some of the restaurants, bars, coffee shops that you're going to in this area aren't going to be as packed, as crowded, as busy. It's a little bit more of your own, which I think a lot of people living in this area do like. You're probably going to get a little bit more bang for your buck here too, because you don't have that central entertainment district necessarily, you know, right in the middle of Overlook and Arbor Lodge. So, you know, because you're not blocks from, you know, a really popular street with, you know, some of the highest rated restaurants and all of that stuff, you're, again, your dollar is probably going to go a little bit further overall. Uh, when you're purchasing a home in this area. So if this is an area that looks interesting to you or if you want to learn more about areas that are similar to Overlook and Arbor Lodge, give us a call, send us a text, shoot us an email, or click that link down below in the description of the video and schedule a Zoom call with us. And on that call, we can talk about your timeline and your budget and you know what type of neighborhood you want to be in. Do you want to be in the city at all? Do you want to be in Portland or do you want to be a little bit further out in the suburbs? We can talk about all of that and come up with a game plan. And if this video is helpful, make sure to hit the like button. That helps us out a lot. If you want to get more videos like this, make sure to subscribe to the channel and tap the little bell to get notified every time we drop a new video. As always, we really appreciate you watching and until next time, we'll talk to you later.